Hi, it's Michael Lafito, author of the book Luxury Listing Specialist and founder of the Luxury Listing Specials Certification. First off, happy holidays. I wanted to send a quick message as we approach 2020. Next week, we're going to be celebrating the new, the new year, 2020. And if you haven't started your goal setting, you should have already, but it's not too late. But as 2020 approaches, I want to share with you my thoughts on what the high end and the luxury market's gonna be for 2020. Again, I've had a lot of people on our podcast. I go to a lot of these conferences. I get a lot of different input, both locally, internationally, and many people are saying that the upper market is slowing down already and it's gonna to continue to slow down in 2020. Of course, there's pockets here and there that remain to be hot. We just recently had uh, Jim Wahlberg on our podcast. Jim's out of San Francisco. And Jim had mentioned that the average median household income in San Francisco uh, for a family used to be $90,000 in 2012 to, to purchase an average home, and it skyrocketed to 195 today. So the home affordability in certain areas are pricing people out of markets. So what's going to happen is when they're pricing themselves out of markets, people can't sell their homes as fast either, and now we have what's called a buyer's market. So I do believe overall 2020 is going to be a buyer's market in most markets for that high end and luxury, the ultra luxury marketplace. But again, remember luxury, it's all relative to your given market. How I define luxury in our certification is we define prices as three times the average sale price for your given market. If the average sale price in your given market is 400,000, we would define luxury as 1.2 million, 400 times three. And so again, luxury pricing is all relative, but the luxury market is all relative. But if you were to ask me as a whole across the United States, 2020 is high end and luxury pricing. Is it gonna be warming up and our price is gonna be going higher, stable, neutral, or cool off and slow down? I would say overall the trend from a lot of the experts we're, we, we've talked to, say if anything neutral, best case scenario, but probably slowing down in what we call a buyer's market. So again, you as an agent, you have to think outside the box. You have to be creative to sell your properties. And that's what we teach with our certification. Our certification is 16 modules and modules eight through 16 are all about, hey, you got that listing, great. What are best strategies to get it sold? And it's our job to present options and exit strategies to our clients. So I want you to think about various exit strategies besides lower the price when you represent high-end and luxury homes in 2020 and beyond. Keep raising the bar. Do me a favor. If you've gotten our book, please leave us a review on Amazon. And if you listen to our podcast, Luxury Listing Specialist, if you haven't, please do so. And if you have, leave us a review. We're on episode 72, 73 as we release this. We are in 2020 releasing one episode a month, excuse me, a week for a month moving forward. For the last two years, we've released two podcasts a month, one every other week. In 2020, we're releasing one every week. So I want to thank you. 2019 has been an amazing year for us. We did over 34 trainings, live trainings, either our own events, our own certification, or other people's events. And that is up from 2018, and we anticipate 2020 being even more exciting. We have speaking engagements booked in Mexico. We're doing an event down there. We have our book. We're releasing our book in Spanish, our certification workbook in Spanish in 2020, and we're looking to expand that. We just launched our ambassador program and our luxury instructor program. I'll include links for those below. My name is Michael Lafito. I want to thank you. I hope you have an amazing holiday and an amazing 2020. Happy New Year. Keep raising the bar. Remember to prove others wrong.